Well, good morning. I'm Martin Tyner with the Southwest Wildlife Foundation, and my beautiful wife Susan's doing the filming. Uh, we're going to have a little fun this morning. We have a turkey vulture to release. And so, this particular turkey vulture uh, was hit by a car, had some soft tissue damage on its uh, wing, just, just kind of like a bad, you know, sp sprained elbow kind of a thing and uh, just was able to use it and it's just it was just a matter of time to get the um, the the swelling to go down to get the uh, wing mobile again and get and get him in the flight chamber and get him starting to use that wing and he's flying back and forth like mad and so it's time to get him out of here so let's go grab a turkey vulture now the problem with turkey vultures different than a lot of the birds of prey that I work with is they have um, three threats. With eagles and stuff, I really worry about nothing nothing more than the feet because that's where they really do the damage. But with the turkey vulture, uh, they will bite a lot more than eagles will. And they, and they will uh, poop on you and they will throw up on you. I don't worry about the feet because they don't have feet like an eagle but they can certainly make you stink. So we love them to death, but that's their defense mechanism. Hi, baby. You ready? Sure. Feeling much better. Are you gonna bite me, sweetie? Hi, sweetheart. Now I know I say the same thing with every turkey vulture video that I do, um, but it's worth repeating. Amazing animals. Um, beautiful to watch fly. They're a scavenger. They, they dedicate their lives to cleaning up dead rotting carcasses uh, in the mountains and deserts and those kinds of things to help stop the spread of disease. We appreciate them. Uh, they're one of the most beneficial birds of prey that we could possibly have. Uh, also, turkey vultures have those really large nostrils right there and they can smell a dead rotting carcass from about 3,000 feet in the air. And uh, that's how they find their food. Not so much with their eyesight, though they have good eyesight, but not as good as an eagle. And I don't know if you could focus in and get a picture of, of the vulture's ears. Yep. You see Don't the ears? Close up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, I get asked all the time, do birds have ears? And of course they do. Their ears are located the same place yours and mine are. They go from the corner of our eye back, you go to the ear. The corner of the eye back, you go to a vulture's ear or sparrow's ear, hummingbird's ear, eagle's ear, it really doesn't matter. All birds have ears, but they're just little holes on the side of the head. So that's a very common question that I frequently get asked. Um, this one does not have a red head yet, and because it's a juvenile, but it'll get its red head in, in the next year or so. So here's our buddy, and uh, you know, usually we try to let the birds go with a really, really big breakfast, but with the turkey vultures, we feed them and feed them and feed them so they're really nice and fat, but we don't give them a big breakfast because they do throw up under the slightest stress. And so we don't want him puking all over uh, on our drive uh, out to the release site. So that's uh, nice to see that he's not throwing up on me. So here we go. What a pretty thing. How can you not love a face like that? Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful, beautiful little animals. Right here we get a little more light on it. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up or, or not, but with the sunlight hitting the black feathers, there's a little, a little bit of an iridescent green to them. It's a little hard. I, I know you guys probably can't see that. Maybe now I can see it. 
Yeah. Such a good boy. Let's get you in here where you're comfy. There you go. Well, good morning. Uh, we're out uh, at the Beaver Dam conservation area. Let our little friend loose. in the right direction, sweetie. Yeah, you can see out. Yeah. Okay. I wish that I could take your troubles away and bury them in some far off place And I wish that I could promise It'll be alright And give you comfort While you lie awake at night But it's so easy For me to say And so hard to keep so hand me that bottle I'm calling out that genie tonight She said it's gonna take more than three But could you see that she gets all my best wishes I could just say your prayer and close our eyes and go anywhere and I wish that I could show you that this was all a dream I'll play it for you on a movie screen and you'll laugh how it feels so real And everyone is there So hand me that book I'm calling out that guy tonight He said it's gonna take more Than your hands and me But I'm begging please Give her all my best wishes. Mm -hmm. 